Bleeding of the fuel system may be required if at any stage you run out of fuel. This is an easy process, but must be followed in logical order to prevent damage to the fuel button pump on top of the primary filter. First of all, ensure that you've got fuel in the tanks to carry out the bleed procedure. Next, release the bleed valve on top of the primary filter. Once the bleed valve is released, operate the button pump on top of the primary filter until fuel is expelled from the bleed valve. Once fuel is expelled, lock the bleed valve up. Second, open the bleed valve on top of the secondary filter. Once again, come back to the button pump, operate the button pump until fuel is expelled from the secondary bleed valve. Once fuel is expelled, lock that bleed valve up. Next, we release the plunger pump which is located on the side of the engine block and can be identified by a red cover. Rotate this cover anti-clockwise to release the plunger pump. If you pull on the cover gently, the plunger pump will be released. Pump this plunger pump until you feel resistance on the pump itself. This may take anywhere between 80 to 100 pumps. Once you feel resistance on this plunger pump, you can then attempt to start the engine. Attempt to start the engine. The engine may start on one, two or three cylinders. Don't be concerned with this. If the engine starts, allow the engine to idle until all air is bled from the system. This will happen automatically. Let the engine idle till all bled air is bled from the system. If the engine doesn't start, return to the plunger pump and operate it once again until you feel resistance. Once you feel resistance, then attempt to start the engine again. Once the engine starts and runs, the plunger pump can then be locked away by pushing the plunger pump in and rotating the cap clockwise. To carry out this procedure, it's best to place something on the ground to capture any spilt fuel to protect the environment. Under no circumstances do we loosen off injector pipes to bleed the fuel system. If the pipes are loosened off for any reason, they then become unserviceable and require replacement. One important point that I would like to make is that when cranking the engine for the fuel priming process, ensure that you do not crank the engine for any longer than 20 seconds at a time. To crank the engine for longer than this may cause premature failure of the starter motor.